for rectangular regions, those are the regions that we considered in previous videos, the order of integration does not matter. Now by a rectangular region, I mean a region whose sides are parallel to the x and y axes. Let's take this example here. Now in previous videos, we evaluated the inner integral. Since this integral is an integral with respect to y, since we have dy here instead of dx, these limits are the y limits of the integration. So we're integrating from y equals 0 to y equals 2. That means that these limits out here are the x limits of the integration. We're integrating from x equals minus 1 to x equals 3. So we have this rectangular region in the xy plane, and we can see that the sides of this rectangle are parallel to the x and y axes. So we should be able to switch the order of integration. Uh, to see that that's true, let's just take the integral in this form, in, in the order that's shown here first. Okay, so we have to integrate x cubed y with respect to y, so we treat x cubed as a constant. So we have y to the power of 1, if we integrate that we get a half y squared. So we end up with a half x cubed y squared, and our limits of integration are from y equals 0 to y equals 2. So we plug 2 in for y, we get 2 squared is 4, we get 4 halves x cubed, that's 2x cubed. And if we plug 0 in for y, we get 0. So, next we have to integrate 2x cubed with respect to x, from x equals minus 1 to x equals 3. We add 1 onto 3 to get 4, so we get 2 quarters or half x to the power of 4. So working this out, we get 40. Now let's reverse the order of integration. So we have to reverse these differentials. Now our integral, our inner integral, is an integral with respect to x. So we're integrating from x equals minus 1 to x equals 3, x cubed y. So we treat y as a constant in this integral. Integrating x cubed gives us a quarter x to the 4, and we times y. Um, we're integrating with respect to x, so we plug 3 in for x. And we subtract from that what we get when we plug minus 1 in for x. Minus 1 to the power of 4 is plus 1. So we end up with minus a quarter y here, and we end up with um, 80 over 4 times y. That's 20y. Okay, so the inner integral is 20y, and we have to integrate 20y with respect to y from y equals 0 to 2. That gives us 10y squared from y equals 0 to 2, which is 40, same as before. Get the same answer, regardless of the order in which we do the integration. Let's take this example here, and look at this inner integral. Now we're integrating x e to the power of xy with respect to x. We have a product of functions involving x, and as we've seen in previous videos, we have to use integration by parts to handle something like this. Okay, x to the power of 1 appears in, in the power of the exponential function, and uh, x appears here. Substitution method won't work, as we've seen in previous videos doing examples like this, so we have to use integration by parts. Now I won't do this problem this way because it's it's far too involved. You see, in this integration, y is treated as a constant. However, if we reverse the order of integration, we will have a much easier way of solving this double integral. So we reverse these, uh, we switch these limits around. Okay, and we interchange these. So we've dy here, and we've dx out here. So now our inner integral is this here. We're integrating with respect to y, which means that we treat x as a constant. And this is a much easier integral to handle than the previous case. So the x is just a constant. We can leave it to one side, and we integrate the exponential function. Well, when we integrate an exponential function, we get it back. We get e to the power of xy back. Um, but Look at the power. 
the power is a constant times y. Okay, it's linear in y. So we need to divide by what's in front of y, the coefficient of y. So we need to divide by x. And we get e to the power of x times y. Now you can very easily check this by differentiating e to the power of x, y with respect to y. If you differentiate e to the power of something, you get it back, and you multiply by the derivative of the power. So we're differentiating with respect to y. We differentiate the power with respect to y to get x. Okay, so that's, you see, we do indeed get the integrand. So that was much easier than the previous integral. Our limits here are from y equals 2 to y equals 3. So we get e to the power of 3x minus e to the power of 2x. So here we end up with a final answer of 3.167. So you can see how much easier it is to do this problem by reversing the order of integration. I didn't want to continue doing it the first way because it is actually quite involved. Uh, not only do we have an integration by parts at the start, which takes time, but we all the integral with respect to y is complicated. So the second integral is probably more complicated actually than the first integral if we were to do the double integral in this first order.